Hello and welcome to Spencer's Library. I'm Claudia and today I have my very first conference to prepare for. So I thought I'd take you along in a little PhD vlog. I've done PhD vlogs in the past. Uh, I personally don't think that my PhD life is all that exciting considering that I'm in the humanities. So my days mostly consist of reading and writing and sitting at my desk. But every time I've uploaded a PhD vlog, people have commented to say that that's actually really helpful for them because I guess maybe it's nice to feel that you're not the only one who's got a slightly boring study life. So uh, yeah, today I'm going to show you how I am preparing for that very first conference. There will be a playlist of previous PhD vlogs linked in the description box, so check those out if you're interested in what else I've been up to in my PhD journey so far. Um, I also want to give a welcome to the new subscribers that have joined me from Lucy the Reader's shout out. Thank you to Lucy for the shout out. It was a very, very pleasant surprise last night and welcome to all of you who have come here from Lucy's post. So this is the plan for today. Today is Monday. The conference is on Wednesday. What I want to get done today is finish the paper that I'm presenting and practice it. So I've already got a draft for this paper and the draft is about... 2,500 words. So that needs to be edited down, cut down a little bit, and then I need to practice that to make sure it fits within the 20 minute time slot that I have for this presentation. Then in the afternoon, I've invited some friends over so they can listen to my presentation and give me some hopefully constructive feedback. In between those things, I also want to go out in town and buy some things for the conference, mostly just maybe a nice new top that I can wear, just some frivolous stuff because, you know, you gotta, gotta mix your work with pleasure to make it more fun. The two things that are kind of not ideal at the moment is that first I'm recovering from a cold, hence the sexy voice, and that obviously isn't great when I'm expected to hold a 20 minute presentation in a couple of days. So I will be drinking copious amounts of hot lemon tea. And the second thing that's not ideal is that today's actually my first day back at my PhD after I took a month long break from the PhD to instead work full time at my retail job. So I definitely need to train those study muscles again and get used to sitting at my desk and doing this all day long. Minerva really wants to say hello to you as well. Hello. You being particularly cute this morning. Okay, so I've just finished editing the paper and as always this took a lot longer than I thought. I thought I was going to get this done in about an hour but now it's actually lunchtime. So I have gone through the paper and what I changed was mainly to make it sound a little bit more casual because I'm going to be reading this out. This is a script for me to read out uh, to the people attending the conference. So I don't want it to sound like an essay. I want it to sound well and casual and flowing while at the same time, of course, being informative and concise. 
So that's mainly what I was working on there. My editing mostly consisted of chopping sentences in two and just changing the sentence structure to make it sound a bit more like spoken word. However, I didn't actually manage to cut down my word count, so I'm still at 2,500 words, which might be a little long. So now I'm going to take my lunch break, I'm going to go and cook something nice for lunch, and then after lunch I'm going to read through this quietly, because my voice is still not all there, and time myself and see if I need to actually cut out bits of this paper. Back from my lunch, which was very nice, thank you for asking. So now I have to read through my script and time myself to see if I am within the 20 minute limit of the paper presentation. So to save my voice, I am going to read this through quietly, you know, whispery, and just see if I can make it through this paper in 20 minutes without rushing. Timer starts now. Perfect. So I read through the script and came out at 16 minutes and 30 seconds. So I'm three and a half minutes under target, which is just perfect, because I know in the actual presentation I'll probably get distracted here or there, or leave some pauses, or read a bit slower, so I'm quite happy with that. So I'm just taking a bit of a break, and I'm not actually alone at home today, because my lovely husband Bill has got the day off work, and he recently bought himself a VR headset. So this is his natural state of being at the moment. Go get them, Bill. Get them. If you invite people over to listen to your 20 minute presentation and they've agreed to come over and give you constructive feedback, then it's best to provide some snacks. So now I'm going to make some of my pretty tasty salted caramel popcorn for my friends to enjoy while I ramble on for 20 minutes later on. Hello and welcome to Spinster's Library. <laughs> That's my catchphrase. So when I, <laughs> when I said friends earlier, I meant this lovely person. Hello. This is Irvan yes. from what's your channel called? Oh, that's a very good question. I think I just used my name. Right. 
Irvan has a YouTube channel. He hasn't uploaded a video in like centuries. Yes. But technically, your channel is about tea. Yeah, and things that are not tea sometimes. Like folk music. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Irvan is also a PhD student at my university. He's a little bit further along. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Yeah. We started the same oh, time. Oh yes, but you're part-time. I'm part-time, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. And Irvan has actually done a conference before. Yes. So, do you have any advice? Well, the thing is, conferences are normally much more intimidating than you... No, they're less intimidating than you oh think. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, so, so like... Uh, it depends on your field. Some fields are a bit more laid back, like I'm in the ethnomusicologist world and the people who are in this field are super chill. Mm -hmm. They're very informal and you know, so um, yeah, it's not, not a big deal if you, if you, um, how should I make this YouTube friendly, if you don't... <laughs> If you mess it up. If you mess if you don't, yeah, if you mess it up, it's fine. But I'm not sure about, you know, the historical side of things. So. But just general advice. Like if someone's watching this is going to a conference on, I don't know, biology or something. What would be your general advice for presenting at a conference? Oh, uh, well, keep it interesting in any way you know how. Um, be prepared. Sometimes, you know... Um, projectors fail or stuff like that so it's handy to have what, what are we gonna do if the projector fails ha i have no plan handouts. <laughs> handouts okay handouts, handouts. Are great. you know yeah. the thing i'm really worried about mm. is that i'm gonna stand there mm -hmm. and say hello and welcome to spinster's life i think that's great you it's should do great. that you know you should totally do that and then you can <laughs> link them to your 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 handles yeah and i'll have like yeah. 25 more subscribers <laughs> No. <laughs> yes. Now I'm pretty sure people will be very interested in hearing what you know you want to speak. Oh, it looks like your thing works now. Yeah. So Bill's been sorting out the technology. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just going to talk through the paper. I'm not actually going to show you the paper because I'm not entirely sure, legally, copyright-wise, um, what happens if this paper is going to end up being published, which mm. it likely will, because mm. that's what happened last time at the conference. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not going to show you the slides, I'm not going to show you my presentation. You'll just have to imagine it. <laughs> Ooh. Why are you booing for? You get to hear it. Yeah, I got get to you hear it. Uh, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> You can end English sentences with a with a preposition. I can do, except when I want to say points. Yeah. Or oh, other words like out with. <laughs> Did I use any prepositions wrong? No, they're all they're all fine. They're all very good. They're all I really enjoyed your prepositions. That was my favourite part. Do you know prepositions are my are a nightmare in like any language learning process for me? You I always go like, why are you using this preposition? It doesn't make sense. You know you should change you your YouTube channel to be about languages. <laughs> Maybe. Make a whole video about prepositions. <laughs> I know, and my, and my not very, not, not the fact that I'm not a big fan of them. You could make a, you could make like ASMR type videos where you're, you're, you're like, you're pouring tea and there's a voiceover of you talking about prepositions. Oh my God. No offence everyone, oh. you're a bit too hyper for ASMR. Oh, yeah. I think I can do ASMR. You yeah, I take that as a challenge. Okay. <laughs> you need to like half the speed of the video. <laughs> no, I, I, I think I can do ASMR, especially for, you know, the people who like very, very fast things. You know you're not in frame there, right, Claudia, if you're... That's yeah. fine. People are know what I look recording? like. Oh, you are. <laughs> <laughs> this is like that time when I was... When... I'm sitting on my work. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. Yeah. You're not sitting on it anymore. I've taken it. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot what I wanted to say. I need to charge this. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye. What was that bit for? What was that bit of recording? That was for? the that was the outro. <laughs>